Peace and blessings. What it do? It's your homie DJ Young Sam, aka Goddamn Sam. And right now you're tuned in to the Old Me Diet Podcast. Yep, we back for another episode, man. When I tell you the devil will come in and just like try to put all kinds of distractions like in your way, just so you can't accomplish your goal. Like, man, my distractions this week was um my son got in trouble at school, so it's like although. I want to uh, continue working and getting things done, but I have to take this time out. And I look at it as a blessing to just correct him and to get him on a, uh, on a straight path or whatever. So I don't look at it as a distraction like this so much, but I know that I could be doing some other type of work. I could be really capitalizing on what I'm really trying to do with my career. But I have to take these important times out to make sure that I'm tending to my kids and doing what a father's supposed to do but uh yeah man so we back with another episode shout out to the elite ones that's y'all because if you tuning in right now you are definitely a part of the elite ones because we, we steady going man we not stopping and we ain't gonna let no distractions stop us so yeah let's get it okay your ego, we're going to talk about the ego today, man. The ego will have you missing out on opportunities. Ego will have you, man, losing the love of your life, <laughs> missing out on great opportunities, missing out on great people, missing out on um, certain events that you should have went to, but you said, nah, that's under what I do. And that type of Energy, that type of mind frame will put you in last place. I can just think about how when I um, moved to Dallas, and uh, of course, when I'm in Houston, any club I go to, you know, I pretty much going to walk right in or somebody going to know me at the door. So for this particular situation or whatever, I moved to a whole new city. So I'm not the same DJ Young Sam that I was in Houston that I am in Dallas because I don't got that type of weight around here. I got a few people that I knew, but I wasn't really just, you know, that guy out there. So I had to go to certain clubs and I find myself, I would have to, sometimes I didn't have to wait in the line and I wouldn't trip and I'd wait in line, pay my fee or whatever. But also I had times with my homie DJ Q, he'd always tell me just come around the back or whatever and I go up there and hang out with him. But other than that, though, it was times that I had to stand in line and my ego didn't get in the way to make me feel like, man, you from Houston, man. They need to let you in VIP and start an argument. Hey, I'm DJ Young Sam. I'm Slim Thug DJ. Like, I don't move like that. I never move with the ego. I move more so with a humbleness like, hey, I'm me. And hey, if you, if you if you dig what I do, if you love my work, if you like working with me, like if you're a person that, that love me, like I appreciate it. But at the end of the day, I don't feel like I'm better than nobody. I just feel like I'm just focused on creating myself to be a better version of me. And when you put that in your mind that, hey, every time I step in a room, I need to be trying to make sure I'm sharpening my skills amongst amongst the peers that I'm around, that right there pretty much shows that hey you can suppress that ego because i ain't gonna lie sometimes you know we all get that ego to where we kind of feel like and, and the thing about the ego we're not gonna say it's all the way bad because it looks good on camera when you're doing music and when you're performing and everything so it's a time to use it but outside of that when you're dealing with people man you gotta suppress that ego and you gotta come down because one thing about it, man, I've watched it. Like, I watched it in the music game. I've watched artists where they didn't climb so far to the top, and then they ego get the best of them, and then all of a sudden they start having to humble themselves and having to backtrack. And it's like, you know, it's, it's cool. It's a life lesson learned. Sometimes, man, I, I'm the type of guy where... I know I can send somebody to go film some work for me, but sometimes I like to go out there too and go film and people be looking at me like, Sam, you didn't, you just got off stage with Slim, now you out here filming. Like, hey man, at the end of the day, I'm out here with Slim Thug, 
which is an artist that I started out listening to and grew up watching his whole story. And then all of a sudden, now I'm his DJ and I shoot his videos and everything. So, yeah, every time when I get out there, I'm going to make sure that I'm doing my best and we getting all the footage because this is a once in a lifetime experience. So at the end of the day, I got no ego to say that, hey, I get off the stage and now I'm in the crowd and I'm going to film the other acts like Ain't no ego. Like, I go from on the stage and I go straight to back to working because it's no ego. It's all about just, hey, keep moving, keeping great energy. And the thing about it, when you move like that, man, you don't have to worry about when you um, go to different cities and uh, link up with different people because they already know your energy. They know the type of person you is. They're going to tell you, come on. So at the end of the day, man, that's how I built my, my name or whatever to where I... I Always made sure that I remain humble. And everybody that tell you, they say, man, Sam's so humble. Man, some people was telling me I was too humble. But I know I can be too humble or whatever, but that's just because I'm just a chill, laid-back guy. But at the same time, if you rub me wrong or whatever, I've had times where the ego done got the best of me, and I wanted to go at people's heads. But, man, the thing about it, you sleep better when you – de-escalate things and when you have a more positive mindset man like me me changing my whole mindset and this and this not nothing that just happened overnight man this happened from me just um going through life's obstacles and then being around people like slim thug who when i when i got around slim this is when he started his music and everything his image started changing to where he was being more peaceful he was Working out and everything, so it's like, how can you sit next to the giant and he talk about working out or whatever? And he's saying, you know, he gonna clown you if you can't do your push ups, if you can't do your workout. So, even though I don't work out with them, I still make sure I get my workout in at home because at the end of the day, I don't want to be the person in the room that can't stand my ground like the rest of the guys around here. So, man, put your egos to the side. Always remain a student. Like, you got to remain a student in the game because the moment you feel like you just too big and you know everything and you let that ego get ahead of you and you say, hey, man, they can't teach me nothing. Like, that's when you start to decline. You walking in the room, you looking people upside their head, you looking at your fit, you feeling like you're so superior to everybody in here, like you just can't be touched. And then when people just really look at you for what you what you are and don't really deal with you and treat you like hey he he's too much or well put him over there that's when you're gonna start really feeling hey i need to come on down because man one thing about it people can see right through you when you're not being yourself when you're not being legit so why not be yourself why not deflate the ego use it when it's time and that's for showbiz Whenever you get in front of the camera, when you finna sell something, like you gotta, you know, put a little spunk into it. But other than that, man, the ego is the enemy, man. It will have you out here tripping and missing opportunities. And that's what you don't wanna be doing. Peace and blessings. Let's get it.